Is there a sign that you're trying to give? Please help me understand because I don't get it. Are you mad? What's going on? Something, talk to me. Guys, please stop if you're doing this. I know there are a lot of skeptics out there, especially among unbelievers who think demons are not real because we can't see them. Science wins over all, and unless science can prove it, this means demons are just made up story to scare people. As much as you like to deny the existence of demons, here's a bad news for you. They are real, and the fact that a growing number of people refusing to believe in their existence only makes the demon's job much easier to influence and steer us away from God. The same people who are holding on to the Big Bang Theory, which is still a theory and yet accepted as fact, are questioning the credibility of someone who has faith in God. And there will be some like this YouTuber here who's trying to communicate with demons for views and like, and the moment Christians say don't do it or stay away from activities like this, you guys will just roll your eyes and walk away, refusing to listen to us even for a little bit. And basically I got this candle, it's a communication candle. I stayed up until 3 in the morning so that I could do this and try to get to the bottom of anything that's in my house. Demons of the underworld, oh we God. summon you here to talk to us and communicate with Every us time. and through us. Possess one of us. No. And take our firstborn child. Please don't. Possess one of us. No. There's one lecture by Father Vincent Lampert that I'd like to share with you in his own words about one particular exorcism that he experienced where someone actually invited the demons to possess her. One can open up a doorway to evil is by actually inviting a demon into your life or cultivating relationships with demons. One of the major exorcisms that I performed was on a woman who told me that she believed that someone she knew was possessed so she said to the person, what's ever in you, I freely invite to come into me. A misguided form of charity. She said no sooner than the words came out of her mouth that she felt something come over her. In working with that particular person, uh, there were seven demons that named themselves in her. And the one dominant demon told me its name was the demon Leviathan mentioned in the book of Revelation. And that during the prayers of the church, when the demon would manifest, the demon would say that it did not have to leave because it had been invited in. And since it had been invited in, it was trying to make a claim on the life of this person. But the ritual of exorcism, you could say, commands the demon to return what it has stolen, namely something which belongs to God, namely each and every one of us. Well, what do you think? Again, brethren, don't engage the demons like the YouTuber. Some will probably be curious to try out Ouija board like these YouTubers. If you think exorcists like Father Vincent Lampert is only making things up and still refuse to believe, then all the best to you. Again, I say, for the last time in this video, don't do it. I'm contacting you because I need you to stop harassing me and doing weird stuff. So please... Show me a sign that you're here.